Yo guys, what is going on? It's Lukey here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get godlike accuracy in Black Ops 4. Now accuracy is always a big thing in Call of Duty obviously and it is a very big thing on this game because there is a higher health in this game because um, so obviously the better your aim is, it's obviously more helpful because that means um, uh, because there's like a high health, you actually need to get your uh, shot on target more than other Call of Duties because you'll need, you'll need to shoot them more so obviously you're going to have to have better accuracy a lot more often in every single gunfight uh, but yeah um, I'm just going to be covering through this now um, myself my accuracy is pretty decent um, in Call of Duty I made a video on this in World War 2 as well and you guys seem to really like it so obviously I want to make another one for you guys but anyway um, before we get into it if you do enjoy it or if it does help you make sure to drop a like and a sub and let's just get straight into this so um, the first tip is obviously going to be the attachments you use on your weapon. That's probably one of the biggest things in the game. Now, on this uh, game, uh, the iron sights on quite a lot of the weapons are actually very, very nice. But if you do not like the iron sights on a weapon, then definitely use a uh, reflex sight or a tritium sight or whatever all the sights are on this game. Just use any sight because obviously sights just naturally make your uh, aim better um, and that's just a simple tip that everyone's, everyone knows this uh, but yeah I just want to mention that quickly uh, but anyway um, I also want to mention that this ain't gonna come uh, like overnight like if you actually are serious about getting better at Call of Duty and getting a better aim then you have to put the time in you have to play every day you have to get better and better obviously it's not just gonna come over you know you can't just watch this video and then just instantly get better you have to practice and practice and practice I've been playing Call of Duty since um, maybe I was like 11 years old like I started uh, ages ago um, and obviously I've been playing Call of Duty for about seven years now so my aim is just naturally good um, I can naturally um, just get my shot on target I know how to aim I can snap on targets and all of that and I'm just going to get straight into snapping on targets really quickly so that is a big thing in Call of Duty and a lot um, of people don't actually do it so basically what I'm on about is let's say for example there is two people in front of you now a lot of people will just aim in their weapon uh, and aim at that one person and then keep shooting and then with the next person once they kill that first person they'll just keep their gun aimed in and they'll just keep shooting and then drag their scope across the screen to the next person and that is a very big mistake what you actually want to do is say if there's a gunfight with two people you want to kill that uh, first person really quickly and then once you've killed him let go of your um, aiming button drag your screen quickly to the next person and then snap onto him so take your aim off, take your, put your aim back on so kill that person, aim out, aim back in to the next person and just snap on the enemies um, and yeah that is a very big tip, a lot of people don't actually do it which is quite surprising they just stay aimed in whenever they see more than one person but you don't want to do that, you want to aim in once you've killed that person, aim back out and then line your sight up with the next person and then uh, aim back in and shoot and your accuracy will get a lot better by doing that um, and you'll win a lot more gunfights uh, but anyway the next uh, thing I want to quickly mention is like the attachments you can use there's obviously a few attachments you can use to increase your accuracy such as grip and all of that stuff a laser um, personally I wouldn't really recommend using them to get your accuracy better um, because then you might have to rely on them a bit too much um, it's better to get a better accuracy um, without using all that stuff that helps you and just naturally just get good at it um, uh, so um, but one attachment I do think you should use is quick draw now this also helps with snapping on targets and basically the reason for that is because obviously you're gonna be snapping on targets so you need to be the first one to aim in on your target as soon as you see someone you're gonna be wanting to be the first person to aim in and quickly get that shot on target um, but anyway the next tip is going to be the most important tip and that is to um, get the right sensitivity now on Call of Duty there's two sensitivities now which is your vertical and horizontal now personally I just keep them the same but some people actually make one of them higher than the other one uh, but personally I think they should just be the same um, but the ideal um, sensitivity like range for me personally is somewhere in between uh, 5 to 8 somewhere around that area uh, I pretty much play on like a 7 
or a 6, pretty much every single Call of Duty. In Black Ops 4 at the moment, I play on a 7-7, seven, seven, and like on World War 2 and stuff like that, I played on like a 7-7 seven, seven as well. Um, but this is where the important tip comes in, and if you guys don't know what um, sensitivity is good for you, um, then say, I don't know, maybe you're using like a 3 at the moment, which honestly, low sensitivities are terrible because you're going to be so slow. Um, you want to go somewhere in between like a 7 or 8, like I said. And um, the way to learn which sensitivity is perfect for you is to start off with like a 5. Use a 5, um, get used to it, play it, use it for like a day, and then after you've used that, bump it up to a 6. Do the same, play it for like a day, and then bump it up to a 7, or maybe keep on bumping up and bumping up. Maybe you're a max sensitivity player. Some people out there are actually a max sensitivity player, which um, I used to be myself in like Black Ops 2, but then I changed my sensitivity to about a 7, and ever since I've changed it to a 7, it's been so much easier, so much better, and my accuracy is so much more controllable and so much nicer. Um, but anyway, the next tip is going to be to... Uh, now, this is a uh, tip for some of you guys, like, if you're a beginner. Um, I used to do this on all the old Call of Duties, and I don't do this anymore because I don't need to. Um, but basically, if you are a beginner, then I recommend you guys warming up on a custom game with a bunch of bots. Um, so, for example, your first when you get on um, when you get on Call of Duty, set up a custom games, put some bots on the other team, and then just play. Warm up your shot, warm up your accuracy, and just practice on those bots. And also practice snapping on target. So, um, for example, this might sound stupid, but trust me, it works. So, let's say in, when you're in custom games, there's like a trash can or something. A lot of the time, there's like a trash can or something, or like a certain part on the wall or something like that. Maybe there's like a little, um, just something you can quickly um, practice your shot on. So basically what I mean by this is, Use an item in a custom game, and then once you um, basically want to snap onto that target, so uh, get your sight um, like normal, don't aim in or anything, and then line up with that um, object and quickly see if you can quickly snap onto that target and start shooting it, and see if you can control the recoil. And that's another thing as well recoil is um, a big thing in Call of Duty, obviously, and getting a better accuracy. And what I mean by that is um, get used to certain weapons and get used to their recoil pattern. So, for example, um, like on World War Two, I used to only use the PPSH. I've sat, um, used, you, a lot of you guys might know about that. Um, like I used to only use the PPSH, and that's because I know the recoil pattern on that. I'm so used to it, and it's such an easy recoil pattern. And on Black Ops Four, uh, one of my favourite weapons is the Maddox. And I'm so used to that recoil pattern on the weapon. I'm so used to the recoil pattern on it. Like it's a very simple one. It doesn't really have much recoil at all, in my opinion. But the little right recoil it does have, I'm so used to it. I know exactly how to control the recoil. It's just like a little bit up and a little bit right or something like that. And I know exactly how to control it. Um, with most weapons, um, what I do is with my aiming stick. I whenever I uh, shoot someone. I actually aim my stick a little tiny bit down and basically what this does is it counters the recoil so if you don't do anything with your stick um, the recoil just shoots straight up but if you actually um, hold your little stick down a little tiny bit and I mean like a tiny tiny bit uh, this will completely control your recoil and you'll be um, just doing a lot a lot better um, now this last tip I don't really um, it's not really a tip that uh, like you can practice, but um, I don't know if you guys really want to do this, but this is um, to buy something, uh, and that is Control Freaks. Now, I personally use one Control Freak on my aim and stick, and what this does is it makes your stick a little bit bigger, so um, that it makes your aim, I don't know really how it works to be honest, but it makes your aim a little bit better. Um, now, they are pretty cheap, they're around about £11 or so. Um, or I don't know how much that is in dollars, like $15 or something. So they are pretty cheap and they do help a lot. I've been using these for about two years or three years now. And ever since I've used them, I have noticed a big difference in my accuracy. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything by them. I'm not saying this to get money or anything. I definitely recommend you guys uh, just using them because they do help out a lot. Now, some people don't like them because uh, they're too big. Uh, but if you're a guy with big hands, like my hands are pretty big, so 
Um, it, they are very, very useful for me. Um, on Xbox, I use two control freaks on both the sticks, but on PlayStation, I only use one on the aiming stick. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and a sub. And uh, also, if you guys want me to cover any other videos like this, I have a video on how to get a better KD. If you guys are interested in watching that, I'll leave a link in the description and the comment section below. Um, so make sure to go ahead and check that out if you guys want to get a better KD. And also, um, I do have, I will have a lot more videos coming on how to just get better at the game in every single aspect. So if you guys want me to cover a certain subject, then make sure to go ahead and say it in the comment section below. Also, if you guys are on that camo grind, I do have videos up right now on how to get easier headshots. So yeah. Um, that has been it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and a sub. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.